Uh, chaps, and you're welcome along to the next update on this little murder, the murder three from Atelieri. And uh, we've we've started the painting, as you can see. Okay. Now remember our tracks. There was there were that horrible silvery, those horrible silvery tracks. So I've got to be very careful because the, the paint will kind of rub off these. It's not really sealed in yet, even though it's been there a couple of days. Um, you still have to be kind of careful. It will it will rub off. No, I don't mind it rubbing off later on because I want to get that sort of a silvery look up in it. If you look at that now, I'll give it a bit of a, a rub there. Uh, can't barely notice it, but it, it, it kind of, it, you can be able to just kind of scrape it off a bit. Anyway, I'll give it a, I see it in places there where it's a little bit shiny. I'll give it a, a, um, a dry brushing. That's it, that's what I've done. Brain was gone dead there for a second. I'll give it a dry brushing anyway of silver when the whole thing is on. I'm happy with the whole colour. Got to get the, the rest of the track colour down. But the base colour is on. Um, I'm sorry, said, well, right, the base colour. What you got? An undercoat. Give it an undercoat. Okay, so everything got an undercoat of uh, NATO black. And um, uh, over the NATO black then with flat white. Uh, we'll give it its highlights. Okay. So as you can see there from the gun itself, it's got a couple of highlights and bits and places. All right, no need to go too deep in the highlights in there. All right, but on the outer thing like that, and on the uh, on the little tank itself. Okay, little blotch in the centre of the wheels. Mark out some panels and things like that. Okay, just some some little bits like that. So when we go in then, oh, I guess light a bit, little bit better there we go uh when i go in then with the with the dark yellow because like i said remember i'm doing this in the uh, africa core scheme if i give the, the the light yellow or the dark yellow sure sorry should i say when i when i'm um when i'm adding the dark yellow just very 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 light coats just until you can't really see the, the, the white too much if you know what i mean um you're trying to get a, a contrast so the centers are lighter but the outsides are still that dark yellow okay so you end up then with a, with a nice sort of a shade a little bit of a distinction between panels and things and it just it, you know if it's done right it'll it'll come out right um the only thing is you have to do it in light coats don't try and do it all at once if you're doing that because what can happen is you can flood the area and all that work that you've done with the uh, with the pre-shading out the window the next stage is very very uh, crucial shall we say so um do it all nice and nice and light like you see there with the with the gun all the light went to the top and the dark on the bottom so when the shade goes on to that then it should be lighter on the top darker on the bottom but all the same colour at the same time um, and you just just like sort of face sun fading okay uh, I did the center of the uh, the drive sprockets okay and I give the uh, the shells an undercoat now of the black they're gonna get gold afterwards uh, I don't have sort of a brass colour, but gold will do. Gold will do perfect. Lots of people have used gold instead of instead of the uh, the brass. So why not? Why not? Why not go for the uh, the gold? Yay! A bit of gold. We like a bit of gold. So um, next thing though for me to do is to uh, get the get the dark yellow on. Now what I'm going to use for that, I'm going to use XF sixty. Okay. There we go, XF60, dark yellow from Tamiya. That's the colour I'm going to use. Um, and like I said, light coats and do it nice and slow and take my time with it. Um, it might take two, maybe even three coats to get it, to build it up nice and slowly. First one coat, you barely even notice it, believe it or not. but don't try and do if you're doing this don't try and do it all in one go that is the mistake i have made on numerous occasions trying to get it all done you know get it done fast and uh, end up losing the whole purpose of the uh, the pre-shading so that's it
for this quick update. Uh, next step now, is, like I said, will be to put on the uh, the XF60 dark yellow. So um, you'll have to join me for the next update where we'll have the dark yellow on. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have done it right. Okay, <laughs> if I don't do it right, sure, shall we say it won't be the first time I got it wrong, but I'm going to give it my best go. My best go. Okay, so anyway, thanks for taking your time out to watch it. Um, as you see, it's coming along nicely. Uh, it is a beautiful little kit, it's from Atelier, it's an old one, and uh, I definitely recommend you to go out and get this kit. I really, really would. Um, if you can get if you can get it, that is, it's, it's an old, it's an old one. But um, I'm sure you, you you'll find it on eBay. You'll you'll find it. You'll find it. It's out there, and it's uh, it's interesting to make some of the older ones compared to say the newer ones. Now there is a newer version of the um, the Torty T out. Uh, Tamia have only recently released it, um, and it will be my next build. Yes, my next build. Um, here it is. It's the, it's the. Uh, it's a new kit from Tamiya, brand new. It came out there. Well, when I say brand new, it came out last year. It came out in 2020. Um, looking forward to making that. A uh, little bit more detailed than this one. A um, little bit, few more parts, shall we say, in building up the hull. You got to build it all up. Whereas this one was all really sort of pre-built for you. But um, that's the thing about the newer kits. You've got a lot more work to do. So when the whole thing is finished how will it stand up you know how will the new one stand up against the old one we'll just have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see and when i'm finished that um yeah it's a different vehicle but it's based on the same on the same chassis and all that so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes <coughs> so easiest way to do that would be to join me and to subscribe to the channel yes subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell and by hitting the bell you'll be notified as soon as I upload another video and don't forget to give, uh, give it your thumbs up give it a like and uh, that will uh, help me along with the YouTube people's yes the YouTube's people's they, they, they like it when you get sort of loads of thumbs up and they kind of keep pushing you up along the uh, along the um, the algorithms <laughs> that's a big word for me algorithms in other words you know when for people that are not subscribed they'll be kind of uh, steered towards the, towards the channel and hopefully we'll get a couple more of our uh, our shall we say our amateur builders and also uh, this channel is linked with a Facebook page as most of you already know and most of you are already uh, part of the Facebook page but for those of you that are not the link is below in the description box get over there and join the Facebook page and uh, you can share your own work okay and there's some beautiful uh, uh, comments that people have made on uh, on the Facebook page so uh, just get over there and then you know share your stuff and no matter what stage you're at in modeling we've got all stages we've got kids that have sort of just getting into the modeling we've got um, say people like me who've uh, is it middle-aged yes I'll call myself middle-aged who've got back into the hobby after a long hiatus you know life gets in the way and you know you start off as a kid and then you go to work and build your family and things like that and then you kind of slow down and start making models but uh, and we've also got then some 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 competition builders some guys that are totally top of the freaking range it's unbelievable the quality of their work uh, 10 times better than me um, I'm basically uh, a fun builder I in other words I build for fun I build it because I like doing it I do it for me not for anybody else and uh, that's what you should all do you know once you're happy with it yourself that's what you get uh, you know a bit of your own satisfaction it's a hobby it's a pastime you know and that's what pastimes are past time and uh, build yourself a model so like I said lads thanks for joining me I'll see you all again soon so in the meantime stay safe out there because it's uh, that whole pandemic -y thing is still going on be nice to one another and uh, but most important yeah most important go and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it and get over there on the Facebook page and show it to us we'll see you soon take care